Jennifer Lopez is supposedly horrified by all the disturbing accusations coming out against her ex, Sean Diddy Combs, and says she doesn't want to be associated. Why is Diddy so visibly uncomfortable in this old interview when they asked about her? Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. We got two updates here. Uh, sources close to Jennifer Lopez's camp say they are, in fact, horrified by all these disturbing allegations. Of course, of course, she's going to come out and play it that way. She doesn't want to be involved. Her tour is underselling. This is the worst for the J-Lo brand and stock. This is not helping her in any stretch of imagination. And all the TikToks and things going out to destroy her. Everyone's just so mad about how she continues to use the Bronx as her sort of way to get... Curry favor still with the fans. The Bronx ain't having it. TikTok's not having it. J-Lo is not having a good time online. So it's not a surprise to see her through sources to OK here, OK Magazine, releasing out some thoughts trying to distance herself from the Diddy situation. I want to go through them. And then, yes, I want to go to this very weird clip that surfaced where Diddy seems terrified at the idea of talking about J-Lo. Let's look at all together, OK? So... Here's what J-Lo has apparently said through sources. J-Lo is horrified by all the accusations. A source recently spilled to the news publication more than one week after Combs' Miami homes were raided. She and Diddy had talked about marriage at one point, but she left him for a reason. Now people want to know why and what she saw. Insider confesses, claiming J-Lo shudders every time she's forced to think about the relationship because she did wrong too. <laughs> Is that why? The confidant continues, she doesn't want to be associated with him at all anymore. Fortunately, it's hard for the Marry Me actress to hide from her ex's disturbing legal accusations since she was named specifically in the most recent lawsuit by Rodney Little Rod jo Jones, who accused uh, of essaying him. Uh, J Jones mentions Lopez, as we talked about from that 1999 shooting in which uh, they were both arrested. Charges were later dropped against Lopez and Combs was acquitted. The Jones now alleges Diddy secretly uh, told him he had been uh, and then a girl. He was the one who took the shots and his girlfriend was the one carrying it. Um, looking back, the insider admits uh, Lopez had been aware of the chaotic times she shared with the last night vocalist and at times seems to find herself faced with regret. There were many wild moments with Diddy, and it gives J-Lo the creeps to think that she was with him for so long. So did she know? A lot of you think she did. She, she did. I, I think she did, too. She had to know something. She wasn't happy in the relationship, the source stated, explaining how she only stayed with Combs because she felt he provided her personal security and protection from the various death threats for, uh, both of them received throughout their romance. So it wasn't like a mafia boss. She was afraid to go against the Don. Oh, you're going to keep me safe. Hmm. Jen's the first to admit she's made some very bad decisions. Uh, she looks at her life today with Ben and is super grateful. The source concluded uh, with, uh, you know, now back with, with uh, Ben Affleck. They're married again. So that's how she's trying to play it today. But let's go back in time. You all ready to go back in the time machine? The 90s just finished. Benefer's all the rage. Diddy's a big star. Uh, and uh, Howard Stern was all the rage, too. And his show on E! was actually very fun back then. But here he is in 2003, Diddy, being interviewed by Stern. Uh, and I want to get to the clip here. Here it is. Uh, Double A calls in. Infamous caller from the Stern Show. If you know, you know. And uh, here's here's how it all goes down. Daddy, man, big big fan here. Yeah. Uh, my question to you is, uh, once and for all, clear it up for us. Is J Lo's ass the best in the business? Uh, Definitely the best in the business. And did yeah. she have to leave you because you? He answered. I mean, that's what Stern did, and she was known for her rump. <laughs> I'm gonna call it a rump. Uh, she has made that one of her big assets, and yeah, he's he's of course he's gonna try to politely, yeah, yeah, the best one, of course. Cheated on her. That's uh, what we heard. You cheated. Yeah, we you cheated. This comes from the Vibe magazine, which we're gonna go to next. But here's the response. Um, I, didn't. I didn't. That's what you told her anyway, right? <laughs> no, I didn't cheat. Let me tell you something. But no, I didn't cheat. <laughs> Do you believe that? <laughs> sure, did he? Sure, did he? J Lo. Yeah. Do you believe? <laughs> How much attention this relationship of hers is getting. It's ridiculous. With Ben Affleck. And you know what's sad? It's going to end in a divorce, just like the other two marriages. You know it, and I know it. Oh, how, Howard didn't know. They'd become back around. The true love of her life. This girl gets married every year. In fact, she had a longer... He's trying to butter up Diddy to get her, get him to talk. Like, yeah, let's trash her. Come on, come on, let's trash her. He's very... Stern was very good at getting celebrities to feel comfortable to do that kind of stuff. 
love him or hate him, Stern's a fantastic interview. Relationship with you than she had with any of her husbands. Yeah. Mm. Comment on that. <laughs> what do you think, P. Diddy? Is it a great ass or what? Comment on everything that's just been said. Yeah, I told you before it was a great ass. Yeah, we know she it's a great ass. She is a great ass. She hit that ass for a long time. I mean, no, that, that's in the past. You know, it's somebody else's ass now. I mean, anyway. anyway. <laughs> somebody else's ass now. So it must not be that great. That, that's the way it that's goes. That's a past I mean, ass. Anyway, think, Ben Affleck. I, mean, I, I, like, I like Ben. I mean, I like do? Ben. I like the Ben and Jen thing. I mean, it's all good. Anyway, I mean, Ben Affleck can know, give like it to her as good as you did. Any way possible. No. I mean... <laughs> Any way no, possible. No, no, man. I mean, you're good at it. I mean, I you know, know what you're doing. I'm not really looking at what nobody else is doing. I mean, that my, my thing was in the past, you know. He's not looking at what anybody else is doing, not according to the the reports. <laughs> I'm, in a, I'm I'm living in another in another world, time zone. Another now. time zone right now. I'm glad know? to be. Rid- he is in a time. Maybe he's just stoned or something, but he seems out of it. He seems scared. He seems like he doesn't want to address it, but like in a in an uncomfortable sort of way. Not just a stone sort of way. Are you guys getting that vibe too as you watch this? Sure. I mean, it's it's not even it's not even like that. I'm happy to be in a relationship that I'm in. You know Nothing better than fresh new ass. Chris, you're on the air. Coffee, how you doing? What's hey. poppin', baby? Bad boy to the soundtrack and stories. Huh? What? Huh? It's J Lo shave down there. J Lo shave down there. That's a good question. That's a legitimate know. question. Yeah, that's non-racial. And it's non-racial. I don't remember. All right. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> also, grow I mean, of course, that this is what Stern did back in the day. He'd have colors in, and the celebrities would have no idea what the colors were going to go with. <laughs> so now on this bad boy soundtrack, hey, attention everyone, attention everyone. Don't ask me no more the J Lo questions. It's been beautiful over the last. But two it years. hurts, right? Still? No, no, not at all. Not at all. I, I just don't. But it hurts. <laughs> know all the answers to these questions, you know. You're but completely over it, though. Yeah, I mean, she that, was that, a good that, catch in the publicity that's, department. That's my friend. That's my friend. All right. Cool. I mean, do you they, talk? I got to ask Ben. Yeah, yeah, you got to ask Ben. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're when very. Was the last uh, time you talked to Jayla? <sighs> A couple of weeks ago. Yeah. I saw a picture in the Inquirer. It looked like there was some cottage cheese on that ass. Ooh. Got out at the right time. I you see. got out at the right time. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Between you and me, you got out at the right time. Absolutely. You got to embrace cottage cheese, though. <laughs> no, I don't. No, you it can com- embrace it. Yeah, it, it comes now, yeah. baby. P. Diddy, thank you for coming by. Come. In fact, anyway, but so even as they finish this Jeez, interview anytime. with in New York, I want to just you know, t- I mean, just everywhere. It's just hilarious. That's just, yeah. And it's stern is so yeah. different now. You know, you know, you never know what's going to go on. I had a good time though. It was cool. And then because the E Show became incredibly popular of his radio show. Yeah, they always nice to me. No, it seemed like you got a little tense when uh, the J Lo question started. So even the, the everybody noticed you you got a little tense around J Lo. Why wouldn't you talk about J Lo? Come now, I mean I'm used to the J Lo question. That's somebody's always gonna be my friend, but you know I I just don't have the answers to the questions. No. Someone who was said they were gonna be my friend, I don't have the answers well, to the questions. You know, not a little tense. It's just that you know it's not my question to answer anymore. But shout out to Ben, shout out to Jay. You gotta ask them. So so you you're good. We know we gotta ask you too because you were the relationship weirdo. Vibes about everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have good vibes about everything. But you know, I understand why people want to ask certain questions. I just go with the flow. I ask them to the best of my ability. And, you know, I keep it moving. I was just putting it out there publicly if anybody just decided maybe to stop asking me a couple of questions. Yeah, that's gonna make them stop. They getting a little repetitive over the years, and I don't really know the answers to them. You know, I, I'd be with that. But if, if you want, you don't know the answers if if she has a good butt. That was that's not a Ben question. That's a, I mean, I guess it's her man now. Keep but... ask, asking me the question. I'll just keep answering. All right, man. Well, thanks All for coming right. down to the show. Okay, good. Super defensive. Super defensive. I think terrified. I I own it. I I'll, I agree. And the reason why, again, now we're back in that 2003 time machine. This was coming off her vibe interview where she dished on him finally. They hadn't really bad mouthed each other at all since the breakup, but she told Vibe I was in this relationship with Puff where I was totally crying, crazy, going nuts. It really took my whole life in a tailspin. Uh, it was the first time I was with someone who wasn't faithful. Uh, and so the reports that she would hunt him down, knock on hotel room doors looking for him. I can't remember right now, but I won't say it didn't happen, she tells Vibe. I never caught him, but I just knew. He'd say he was going to a club for a couple hours and then never come back that night. So maybe he didn't. He's saying he didn't, and she never caught him actually cheating. She just assumed that, which is kind of weird. But he'd be out there doing something behind her back. She's acknowledging that. And this is 2003, mind you. This isn't even her trying to save face now. This was back then. But this is also after that arrest. 
that whole incident. They split so often that uh, he didn't believe it when she left him for good in February 2001. I had to think, do I want to be home with kids in 10 years wondering where somebody is at three in the morning? Mm hmm. Interesting. Interesting. And she went into the Chris Judd because he was just sweet and it was refreshing. Uh, marriage isn't about love. Anyway, she learns more, blah, 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 blah. But that's what it is. She she did kind of badmouth him in 2003. And then he was appearing on these talk show hosts because it was coming back up. And that's how Diddy was responding. It does seem like he was a little off. Wants to call and put her on blast, but he realizes he can't because it makes me wonder, what does J-Lo know? I think J-Lo's complicit. I think J-Lo knows way more than she's alluding to. Diddy knows this. So if J-Lo were to turn, he's he's in trouble. He's got to be careful about the J-Lo connection. That's just my take on this. What do you guys think? I want to hear your thoughts. Did he look terrified? What are your thoughts? I want to hear them down below. Make sure if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you get all alerts for all sorts of topics we cover. Hit the thumbs up and leave your comments down below. Appreciate all you guys so much. I want to hear what you think. We'll be live tomorrow over on uh, the channel here. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're live. Hope to see you guys there. Join our Patreon to really support and stay tuned for more.